this, this king, who is the angel of the bottomless pit, which is Satan, he's got a name. There is a name in Hebrew, and there is a name in Greek. The name in Hebrew, his name in Hebrew is Abaddon, but his name in Greek is Apollyon. And I'll finish it off with this. In, in Hebrew, Abaddon, in Greek, Apollyon. The world consists of two circles. One circle, the Israelite nations, those who believed in the true divine God, the creator of everything that is visible and invisible. These were the Israelite nations. And outside the Israelite nation were the nations. So there is one nation and there is the other circle, the nations, plural. The nation, singular, Israel, but believing in Yahweh, the true divine God. The nations believing in false gods. The Greek here in Revelation 19, in Revelation 9 and verse 11, the Greek here represent all the nations of the world that worship the false gods. He's not referring just to the Greek people as in Greek Athens. No, the Greeks here represent all the nations of the world and Hebrews are the Israelite, the nation of God, the believer in God. Now, what crucified Jesus Christ? These both, the Hebrews and the Greeks, the nation and the nations crucified the Lord Jesus. Now, in Hebrew, this Satan, his name is Abaddon. Now, the word Abaddon means extermination. When you exterminate something, it does not exist any longer. Now, why in Hebrew, Satan's name is Abaddon, extermination? Because to the Jewish people, the Messiah cannot die. Prophecies of the Old Testament say that the Messiah will come. And when the Messiah comes, he will live forever and his kingdom will endure forever. So when the Messiah came over 2,000 years ago and he said, I am the Messiah and did all the wonders and the miracles and the preachings. But when the Jewish people realized that this Messiah is about to be crucified and die on the cross in the flesh, they said, this is a lie. We must exterminate this man called Jesus from the face of this earth. Who put this thought in their head? Satan. So to the Jews, Satan is Abaddon, exterminator. Because Satan put it in their head to get rid of Jesus once and for all. Why? Because the Messiah cannot die. So you, Jesus, claimed on one hand you are the Messiah. On the other hand, you're saying you will be crucified. You're a liar. We must kill you and get rid of you once and for all. We must exterminate you, Abaddon. So those Jewish people that went against Jesus Christ, crucified him and killed him and put him in the tomb, all those thoughts were put in their heads by Satan, who is the king of the bottomless pit. His name is Abaddon, the exterminator. Now what are the Jews, Israelites? religion so what crucified the Lord Jesus on one hand religion on the other hand the world the Greeks so those who believed in God crucified him and those who denied God the world also crucified him because both of them are sinners now we come to the Greeks for the Greeks all the other nations not Athens all the other nations. His name is Apollyon. The word Apollyon means ignorance. So Satan's name to the Jews is the exterminator because he put in their head, this is not the Messiah. Messiah cannot die. Read the prophecies. But they didn't read it properly because if they had, prophecy said that he will be crucified, he will be put into the tomb and he will rise on the third day as it is written. Satan blocked their eyes, shut their bottomless pit. He filled it 
with his thinking, with his evil, poisonous thought, like he's doing in the world now. But to the Greeks, who are the Greek? To the Greeks, he's Apollyon, ignorance. Why? What are the Greeks? Well, if you come to the Greek world, you're talking about the great philosophers. Socrates, Plato, Aristotle. These men, their heads, they weighed the whole world together, put together. They were men of wisdom. Now, the great philosophers are the Greeks. Now, the word philosophy comes from a Greek word, philosophia. It is a, it is a compounded word, philosophia. Now, philo derives from the verb philon or phileon or philon or philin. Philin means lover and Sophia wisdom so philosophia philosophy means the lover of wisdom so the word philosophy or philosopher philosopher is the lover of wisdom philosophy is the love of wisdom so philosophy is the love of wisdom in the olden days in the olden days they used to call any trade that expressed intelligence philosophy. A doctor was called philosopher, lover of wisdom. A carpenter was called philosopher, lover of wisdom. A teacher was called philosopher, lover of wisdom. They did not call themselves wisdom, but they called themselves lovers of wisdom. They chased wisdom because they thought, when I gain wisdom, I've gained everything with it. So now, when you come to the Greeks, people of the world who use their head all the time, like these great elites of the 21st century, those who, whom you don't know who they are, see, the ones that they appear on mainstream media are puppets. Yeah, just for your own information. Anyone who comes out in the open and talks on mainstream media know for sure they are nothing but puppets. Those who drive all that, their names are not registered in any government place. You don't know if they really exist. But Jesus knows them all. One by one. He knows where they live, whether underground, above ground, in Mars. He knows them all. They cannot escape. So when you come to the people of the world who use their head, philosophers, lover of wisdom, use their head, and you come to them and you say, I worship my God as someone who was nailed on the cross. They will laugh at me. They'll say, this is the most ignorant statement I've ever heard in my entire life. So you're telling me your God died on the cross and you worship a dead God? Is something wrong with your head? To the Greeks, the philosophers, the lovers of wisdom, Jesus is ignorance. The cross is ignorance. How can you worship a crucified God? This God must be so weak human being got up and killed this God what kind of a God is this for you to worship men are much more powerful than him so to the philosophers the cross is ignorance to the Jews the cross is a stumbling stone as Saint Paul says it but to us the saved is the power of God is the power of God so those who followed religion they got up and killed Jesus because of religion. Why? Because they said the Messiah, our religion says the Messiah cannot die. You are claiming to be the Messiah, but you are saying you will be nailed on the cross. You are a false Messiah. We must get rid of you. Exterminator, Abaddon, Satan played with their heads. And for the philosophers of the world, those who use their head and look at the world, everybody uses their head. No faith. 
You go to a scientist who says, unless you prove it to me, I'm not going to believe. You go to anyone of the world, they want proof, tangible proof. And if you don't provide them with tangible proof, they're not going to believe. They believe in energy, but they can never see energy. Any scientist, can you see energy? He'll say no. How do you know energy exists? There are, there are enough evidences that energy exists. Well, why aren't you believing that God exists and there are enough evidences for God to exist as well? Gravity, mystery. So many things are still mysterious. Science will never ever give you the full picture of why this realm exists. Can't. They are living on proofs. So how are you going to express love on tangible things? To the world, Jesus being crucified is ignorance. How can you follow and worship a crucified God? He's a weak one. But to us the saved is the power of God. Is the power of God.